St. Mark's Basilica, with its magnificent architecture and priceless art, is a sight you'll want to capture. Stepping into the Basilica feels like stepping back in time. Its history dates back to the 9th century when the first church was built on this site to house the relics of St. Mark. Over the centuries, the Basilica was rebuilt and expanded, becoming the splendid structure we see today. A remarkable blend of Eastern and Western architectural styles, St. Mark's Basilica is a testament to Venice's rich history. The exterior of the Basilica is impressive with its five domes and ornate decorations, but the interior is truly breathtaking. The Basilica is adorned with splendid mosaics and precious marbles, evidences of Venice's former power and wealth. The gold mosaics, in particular, are a sight to behold. Covering a total area of about 8,000 square meters, these intricate artworks tell the story of St. Mark and depict scenes from the Old and New Testaments. Visiting St. Mark's Basilica is not just about admiring its beauty, but also about understanding its rich history and symbolism. For this reason, taking a guided tour can greatly enhance your experience. A knowledgeable guide can point out details that you might otherwise miss and can share fascinating stories about the Basilica's history. As you wander around the Basilica, make sure to take a moment to appreciate the Paladuro, a magnificent golden altar screen adorned with thousands of precious gems. And don't miss the chance to see the original bronze horses that once adorned the facade of the Basilica. These ancient artifacts are now housed inside the Basilica to protect them from the elements. If you're up for a bit of a climb, I highly recommend heading up to the museum on the upper floor. Not only will you get a close-up view of the horses and the stunning mosaics, but you'll also be rewarded with a fantastic view of St. Mark's Square and the surrounding area. One important thing to remember is that St. Mark's Basilica is a place of worship. Respect the local customs and dress appropriately when visiting. Shoulders and knees should always be covered while inside the basilica. Also, photography is not allowed inside, so be sure to respect this rule. Now, you're probably wondering, what else is there to see and do around St. Mark's Square? Well, how about sipping on a coffee at the historic Café Florian, said to be the world's oldest café, or trying the renowned Venetian gelato at Suso Gelatoteca? Don't forget to stop by the charming boutiques and shops offering everything from Venetian glass to handmade masks for that perfect memento. For all the book lovers out there, Libreria Aqua Alta, known as the world's most beautiful bookstore, is a must visit. Stick around because I've got more amazing tips coming up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Wandering with Purpose, for more great travel guides and tips. Now. There is so much more to see and do in Venice, from the narrow, winding streets filled with history to the world-class restaurants serving authentic Venetian cuisine. And speaking of cuisine, no trip to Venice is complete without trying its signature dish, Risotto al Nero di Sepia, a creamy risotto with cuttlefish cooked in its own ink. It's a gastronomic experience that truly embodies the city's connection to the sea. Beyond the grandeur of St. Mark's Square, Venice's maze-like alleys hide countless gems. Take some time to get lost. Yes, I said get lost, because that's when you'll stumble upon the quaintest stores, local markets, and captivating artworks by local artists. Just around the corner, you might discover boutiques selling authentic Murano glass jewelry, small workshops creating traditional Venetian masks, or even a family-run bakery offering delicious cicchetti, the Venetian answer to tapas. If you're an art aficionado, you can't leave Venice without visiting the Galleria dell'Accademia, which houses an impressive collection of pre-19th century art. The gallery's vast array of masterpieces is a testament to the city's rich artistic heritage. For a change of scenery, take a day trip to the nearby islands of Murano, known for its glassmaking tradition, and Burano, famous for its brightly colored fishermen's houses and lacework. There's one thing you should know. Venice isn't just a city, it's a world of its own. Its charm lies in the unexpected discoveries around every corner. Are you eager for more tips on how to experience Venice like a local? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss our upcoming episodes. Before we end, let's circle back to the breathtaking St. Mark's Basilica. 
It stands as a testament to Venice's past glory, a symbol of its resilience, and a beacon for its future. Thanks for joining us on this virtual tour of some of Venice's most treasured landmarks. We can't wait to take you on more adventures around the world. Until next time, keep wandering with purpose, and we'll see you in our next adventure.